Hello everybody and welcome to today's stream. Today we are continuing on with our playthrough of Hard Space Shipbreaker. So yeah, let's get uh, right into it. Yeah. Oh no, not explosions and other flashing lights. Oh man. Shaft, train enabled career. <laughs> hey, Patrick, welcome back. Hello, ship breaker. Overnight genetic backup complete. Pattern deviation nominal. Have a good day. Uh, terminal. Do I have anything on here? No. Okay. Get in the room. Equipment. Oh, right. I've used all my, my LT tokens. Alright. Start shift. Over here. Ah, oh, we finally have a ship choice again. <laughs> okay. Oh, right, the Javelin Tanker. Ooh, 16 million. Wow. Oh. Then again, that, that Star Cruiser. What does this give us? Let's give us more. Nope, this gives us more LT. Uh, I think it's probably the Star Cruiser. It's probably what we want to disassemble. Unless we got something more valuable. How much does this give us? 17.2 million. This gives us 16.2 million. Hmm. Okay, so this has a class one reactor, power cell, quasar thrusters. Oh, thruster class two. Okay, so it's got a better thruster on it. Eh, let's go for the Star Cruiser. It's worth more. Which is sad because I kind of I kind of want to break this one, but eh, eh, fire hazard, whatever. We go for the most expensive one. Alright. Morning, folks. How y'all holding up? I, I have a question. A what? Hello? We're moving them. Two of the three them. You're... I can't hear you, Kai, though. Kai, try switching to another frequency and then back again. Oh. Uh, this is all... Hey, okay. okay. I have a question. What's this, this administrator gonna do? They're being countered. Waste our time with productivity reports. Oh. Large. They've come here before? Sure. Loads of times. Profits drop, they send someone. Accidents go up, they send someone. Sometimes they just send someone to find out if they need to send someone. They ain't a big deal, Kai. You heard right, Paulson. I guess they're just sleeping around for union stuff. Right? Yeah. What the? Gotta be That's here weird. Talk. These types have the attention span of a gopher. They'll move on pretty quick. What's a gopher? <laughs> what? Boy, you better come visit sometime on Mars when you're done here. <laughs> One day, we'll all go see them gophers and whatnot. Keep that front of mind and don't fret none. Carry on now. We were out. Salvage secured. Into the processor. All right. Processing valuable deposit. What is that? Utility arm. Okay. 
That's removable? Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying it is. Interesting. Okay. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Alright. That means these ones should be as well, right? Yep. Definitely an interesting ship to disassemble. Oh, the airlock's on the... The airlock's on the top. Okay. Access panel? What's our sensor looking? Oh, interesting. I see. So this is like the nacelles on either side are their own like structure. Separate like structure thing. Okay. That thruster nozzle goes to the barge. Does it only have the one cut point? No. It has the other cut point here. Alright. So it has access panels to get to the cut points. Interesting. Deposit accepted for processing. That is gonna be tricky to get on get to the barge. Possibly. Maybe not. Oh, it's got, oh, it's got three thrusters. Wow. All right. Thought it was only two. Uh. Ooh. All right. I see why this is such a valuable ship. Okay. So we got fuel lines. Salvage deposit secured. And Credit the thruster support. itself. Okay, this should be should be safe to cut these, right? Clock's ticking now, cut. Nope. Get in there and hit that shut off switch. Oh, whoops. I can't get in there. I'm stuck. Nope. Okay, we're gonna do something here. We. I, I I was actually physically stuck. So we're gonna just relaunch the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got actually stuck. Like couldn't couldn't move. Game wouldn't let me move. I was like pushing my thrusters in different directions to try and get out and I was literally like clipped into the object. That's always fun. Alright, so there's a fuel shutoff valve on that ship. Hopefully it's the same list of ships. Okay, this is the Hello, save point. Breaker. Please enjoy this inspirational message. The last 10% of a job takes as much energy as the first 90%, which is Shift. why it's so important to always give 110%. Uh, okay. Same ships or is it different ships? Oh, it's different ships, isn't it? 
Oh, no, 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 there it is. No? Okay, same style of ship, not worth as much. Oh, I lost, I lost the fancy good ship. Oh, well. No, well, we'll, we'll, we'll break this ship down then. For, like, a million less. Sure, whatever. Does it wouldn't have done me any good to try and stay on that mission anyway. I was actually physically stuck. Morning, folks. How y'all holding up? I, I have a question. Uh, what? Hello? Who's living? Who's living for you? You're... I can't hear you, Kaido. Kai, try switching to another frequency and then back again. Can you hear me now? Okay, so there's an airlock, but nothing is pressurized? Hey, okay. I have a question. What's this? Yeah. Administrator Nothing's pressurized. They're being countered. Waste our time with productivity reports. Oh, they've come here before? Sure, loads of times. Profits drop, they send someone. Accidents go up, they send someone. Sometimes they just send someone to find out if they need to send someone. They ain't a big deal, Kai. You heard right, Paulson. I guess they're just sneaking around for union stuff. Right? Yeah. Gonna be here a week, top. These types have the attention span of a gopher. So move on pretty quick. What's a gopher? <laughs> Quiet. Boy, you better come visit sometime on Mars when you're done here. <laughs> One day, we'll all go see them gophers. What not? Keep that front of mind, and don't fret none. Carry on now. What world are Carry these? Out. Ion ring. Oh. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting to disassemble. Okay. It's all barge stuff. It's not connected there. It's connected down here. What the? Why is that not cutting? Oh, do I have to line cut that? I do have to line cut that. Huh, interesting. Okay. Assuming there's another one over here. Okay. Cut. <laughs> oh, wrong thing. Okay. All right. Get the other side.
So I think two of those pieces didn't actually go into the barge. Yeah, they're sitting. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Interesting. Wow, this this ship is very very interestingly assembled. All right, we're gonna have a lot of weird cuts we have to make to get this all broken apart. Processor parts. Alright. Is that the cockpit? I think it is. Is none of this pressurized? None of this is pressurized. Just the airlock is. The airlock's pressurized. Wait a second. This thing is its own little pod? Okay. Do we just literally cut it off of here and then to get access? Is this actually how we get access? Because that seems weird. Oh no, there's an airlock up top. Okay, okay. Airlock depressurizing. Okay, yeah, I need to depressurize the airlocks. All right. Airlock depressurizing. All right. Yeah. It's just the airlocks that are pressurized. Ooh. Ah, poster. Collect. All right. Oh, I see. We could pressurize this. Don't think I have um, I don't remember. I don't think I have the upgrade that gives me oxygen for pressurizing a room. We can check though. Let's check. Pressurizing. Let's check. Air pressure level increasing. Yes, I do. Haha. <laughs> Sweet. I did get that one. All right. Wow, it's really slow, though. <laughs> like, really slow. Air pressure 
depressurizing. All right, we'll depressurize that. All right. Okay. Oh, they got a bunch of posters. All right. Ooh, data drive. Audio data found. Nope, dang. Okay, game. I hate that. That's really bad. Like, don't don't have a thing that's like you you pull up an audio log and you go to listen to it and you release the button for the audio log and like you accidentally bump the button and it just cancels it immediately why is it hold to activate and then just like tap to stop like don't do that i wanted to listen to that and now there's no way for me to listen to it here like in the menu, they're, they're, like what? Why is there no way for me to bring it back up? Pressurize this side too. Right. Wait, wait, is this thing? No. Why is this sealed? Oh, because the engine compartment is pressurized. Okay. All right. So engine compartment is pressurized. Interesting. Get my ear back. What is this? Battery pack. terminal so the reactors in here somewhere whoops that wasn't what I wanted to do Okay, that compartment's not pressurized. All right. Oh, there's the reactor through that glass. All right. So where's the I know I saw the thing to depressurize this room. Where'd it go? Uh, where'd it go? I know I saw it somewhere. I thought? Maybe not.
Maybe we can't. Maybe we just have to depressurize this room? The, like, explosive way? That seems silly, though. Ugh, I don't have the component scanner. I mean, I guess, I guess our method is we just, we just open the door, <laughs> like I did. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we depressurize the airlock. Alright. Yeah, that's what we do. Alright. Whatever. Eh, we got some air out of it. That's fine. Okay, this should be... That's depressurized. Oh, right, there's a... There's like a cockpit access thing. Right, access ladder. Mm. This goes to the barge. It's only worth a hundred. What? Uh, so cheap. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Control. Yeah, there's a cockpit release. Oh, and there's internal. There's an internal secure strut. Alright. Does that come off? Ah, that comes off. This is all furnace, looks like. Does it have anything attached to it? No. to the furnace. All right. Raw material deposited. All right. These should be able to just go into the barge. Salvage 
deposit secured. Credits awarded. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. All right. Hey, what in the world? There's a. Oh, right. There's the atmosphere regulator. Get some air here in a second. All right. Processing object. Applying credits to account. Salvage goal reached. Rewards assigned. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Oxygen. All right. Okay, where's the... Okay, let's just... Uh... Wait, what? Secret compartment? Deposit accepted for processing. Weird. Cockpit taken care of. Ah, we can get into the superstructure over here. Alright. Interesting. No world? Huh. There's so many, like, better parts in this ship. Cut off. Oh, this. Okay. Questions: How do I get this like superstructure tube disconnected? Uh, if I have to cut it up, that'll be annoying. I might have to though. Oh, unless it's this. What are these attached to?
Okay, come out of there. Okay. That'll work. So what exactly did I disconnect? Oh, I disconnected this. Okay. Okay. Which I think is all just, yeah, it's just processor stuff. And the processor with you. I think that's the compartment. <laughs> that's the interior compartment. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. This must be how that metal ring is attached. Right? Maybe not. What in the... How is that attached? Okay, maybe it's... Did I detach it? Hmm. Oh, it's not attached anymore. I am moving it. Okay, I think. I need to get this tube out of the way. Somehow. Ah, okay. Is the whole, oh, the whole section. Uh, the whole section moves now. All right. I should be able to use grapples on this to get it to work. Yeah, to get that whole front section. All right, let's go get some more, some more air. Still okay on, on fuel. Yeah, I think I can use tethers on this to get this to go. Even though it's too heavy for me to move it normally. I think tethers will do it. Ah, they're separate parts. Both of you go into the processor. Oop, I missed a light. I think. Missed a couple of them. Nope, can't get it. No, oh, well, whatever. Those aren't worth very much. Did it not count those lights at all? It didn't. Okay, we got one tether left. Carter, 
You're out of tethers. Get yourself over to the kiosk to buy some more. I guess the lights are just bonus? <laughs> Well, we had fuel and tethers. Um, There's a multi airlock system. That's what it is. Oh man, this is a. This is a mess of disassembly. It's all. looks like all processor stuff. I'm gonna start on this midship stuff. Okay. Odd clamps. Oh, that pod clamp is one piece? Ah, it is. Okay. We gotta cut away all the pod clamps so they can go in the barge. Ugh. Set down here too, right? Yep. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Okay, those three I like. Parts. Accepted. It was Credit mostly. Cool off. can't actually disassemble that yet. I gotta disassemble one end of the ship or the other first. Because I gotta pull that off of the cage. So... That's a releasable chunk? It must have internal struts? Yeah, okay. 
Yep. Let's get some air. Should come off. Yep. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What? They're oh, they're two separate pieces. I see. In there. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Into the barge. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. All right. Uh, this is. This is even worse. Three grand each. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Can I even, like, pull the doors off of this? Not really. See, literally, in order to get the doors off, which isn't really worth it, you'd have to cutter them out. If, yeah, no, you'd lose too much money by the time you did that. That is absolutely not worth it. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Frankly, I find it silly that the game docks you on doors anyway, because it's like, really guys? Doors I can't actually like pull off or cut out? <laughs> Why? some of this other stuff out. That section's moving. Okay. How much of this is actually moving? Okay. I 
send anything? Nope. Just a piece of junk. Okay. So this section. Go that way. That should go into the processor. That should go just fine. And goal two. There we go. All right, we've almost got this front section disassembled. <laughs> Man, this takes a long time. All right. Uh, all right, I need to rip all the door panels, all the door panel buttons. Oxygen. Oxygen level Gotta make sure I get all the door switches for proceeding. Okay, got all those. Uh, there's another one here. No, I want the door switch, not the wall panel. Game, really. <laughs> There's a light there. That's easy to miss. Very easy to miss. All right. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Uh, there are the cut points. There you go. And that one. All right. Salvage 
Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Okay. Gotta make sure I have all of the uh, stuff out of the interior here. Yeah, alright, I'm gonna have to pull everything out of this off. Oh, well, that's a storage bin, storage bin, fuel pipe. Where does that fuel pipe go? Is it just a. Is it just a fuel pipe sitting in here that's not connected to anything? That would be weird. No, well, let's cut the rest of this apart. Won't find out until we do. Coming free? No. All right, where is stuff still attached? Ah, the top came free. Oh, no, no, no. They came apart? Yeah, they came apart. All right, cool. Ah, this is still attached there. Okay. One spot left. Okay. Processing valuable deposit. Credit transfer. That should work. I think? Yeah, yeah, that should work. Possibly? Eh, we'll find out. Oh, is there a... No, that's a... It's an aluminum furnace panel. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, it worked. All right. Ah, battery pack. Thank you. 
We got enough fuel for like one more run. Or we need to get more fuel. Man, thrusters were out way too quick. light. Wait, what? Why did it move it that way? That doesn't make any sense. I grabbed it on this edge. Yeah, why is it pulling it off instead of... What? What the... Okay, game. Why are you moving it at a weird... Yeah, why is it moving it opposite? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, how am I moving? Ah, when the physics engine just breaks. So much fun. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. How do I get the pipe off of that? Oh, I see. I break it free and the pipe just frees itself. Okay, game. Whatever. Okay. That should be good enough. Yep, there we go. Out we go. What the? Stupid thing? Go in. There we go. Alright. I just got that length of pipe. Here. Oh, yeah, the atmosphere regulator. Quite valuable piece, actually. Alright. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited.
Okay. That should be everything out of here except these lights. But yeah. Alright, low fuel. Wait for the low air warning. Okay, game. Let me have this. Okay, I'll just clip the light through the wall. We'll just clip it right through the object. clear. That's all furnace stuff now. Which means I, th I think I actually just cut it off, don't I? Yeah, pretty sure I cut this off. Oh, I need to cut this first. And this. Okay, it just cuts those away. All right, let's go get let's go get some air and some fuel. basically lose those no matter what we do because we have to separate this to get the ring off this has to go in the furnace the it's gonna be a little bit that's too hefty of course it is that's annoying uh, oh I know we grapple it to there. That pull it? Yeah, okay, that'll pull it. Alright. Just to need just need to get it out past the structure. Alright, and then we'll cancel the grapple. And I'll pull it the other way. Come on, come on, you can do it. Okay, tethers. Okay, that grapple ended, which is perfect. I just need this to get further far enough over. To grapple it into there. Okay, there we go, into the furnace. All right. Oh, of 
course this ring is too heavy. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do tether work on all of this, aren't I? Alright, you hold of that to yank off of there. Just need it to pull it off of the frame. Once it's off the frame, we'll cancel the tether. Okay. Use a couple of tethers to make sure it goes in there. All right, cool. All right. Oh, we haven't taken the engine cap off yet. Was this one unit? It is one unit. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Don't go into the furnace. Whoop. This goes to the barge. Thruster class 2 is worth a lot. Alright. So is the cap. Nice. Alright, so this gets us into... What, the reactor? No, where is the reactor? Oh, uh, no, it's not in that room. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, barge reactor. Can I cut her that? Alright. I think I can take this section out. And it should... gap. This should be disconnected now, right? Maybe? Oh yeah. Come on. Yep, yeah, this section's disconnected. All right. Let me get out of here and go get some more air. Yeah, that section's coming out. Alright. Come on. I know you're within my weight class to pull, so... I need to remove this from here. So I need to get those lights off. There's the low air warning. fixture on this thing. There it is. Salvage 
Come on. Come out of there, chunk of ship. Okay. I should be clear. Alright, that's clear. Yep. Yeah. I think that's enough to pull it in. Yeah, that should do it. Alright. Okay. There's the reactor. And to the barge. Perfect. Exactly how we wanted it to go. Ah, I can release this. What? Oh. That was my thruster. <laughs> the warning noises are kind of annoying, actually. Alright. Alright, that should go in. Also, for a ship that has, like, an extreme risk of explosives and fuel and stuff, this had none. So, yeah. <laughs> like, they really, they really, in the, uh, like, thing for this ship, they really talked up how, how risky it was for explosions and there, uh, wasn't any flammable stuff. So, you know. Door switch. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Oh, this is one with an air filter. Oh, that's annoying. Eat. I hate the air filters. They're irritating. So much extra work. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. And there's a door. What is that? Oh, a battery pack. Okay. Cool. Let's go ahead and throw this to the barge.
deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Wow, that is an expensive piece of glass on that. So not breaking that glass is uh, it's preferable. Nope. Oh. It's the barge. There we go. Here's goal four. Low. Right. Ah, got stuck. All right, we're fine. I think I got enough power to and durability left on my tools. It's a little, makes it a little bit harder because I can't pull stuff apart quite so easily. So I'm gonna have to use more. Um, have to use more tethers. But that's fine. I just need to clear out this ring first, so I've got a clear path. Salvage secured. Applying credit. No the world is up here. Oh, there's... Oh, that's where the atmosphere regulator is. Wow. Okay. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Must have happened when I accidentally opened the door. <laughs> Okay, so that section's floating. There goes that section. for that door, but that's fine. Oh, no, wait. No, I won't, because it's processing. Right. They're fine if they go into a processor. It's only if they go into the furnace. Okay. There's a door switch. Salvage 
salvage is secured. Credits deposited. should work. Oh yeah, that's working perfectly. Okay. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Deposit accepted for processing. Oh, there was some aluminum structure on that processed section. Oh no. care. This is another one of these big rings. I can tether this. Yeah. That should work. Yeah. Valuable object process. Credit awarded. Okay. I do need to go in here though and pull some stuff out. Low. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Okay. Welcome to Vintage on 9000. Oxygen level stabilizing. Try and shove this down. So it clears. All right. Now uh, we'll tether that. It should work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That'll work. All right, so I need to pull all of the, oh yeah, the tables and stuff out of here. Processor 
deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Okay. Oh. Airlock switch I missed. All right. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Oh, right. There's an air filter I got to pull out of here. I got to cut out. Well, that'll put a big hole in the bottom of the thing, which would make it easier to pull the other equipment out of. So there's that, I guess. Okay, yeah. Okay. That makes this much easier. The difficult one is going to be getting those uh, storage containers out without breaking the glass. terminal. Make sure we've got everything out of here. I think. Let's just double check with our scanner. Ah, I need to. I need to tether this over to a. Yeah. should work. Which I believe that leaves this to go in the furnace. Oh, is this all furnace? Yeah, looks like it. Close enough anyway. Alright. Feathers? Tether. 
Head on over to the kiosk to pick up some more. Yep. Go get some tethers while that's getting pulled in. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Raw material accepted. Nice. I'll have to figure out what in the world is sitting out. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. Thank you for your purchase. Oxygen level stabilizing. Okay, what hasn't... Oh. What? Oh, oh, oh. Are the desks... Desks furnace items? Oh, they are furnace items. Okay. Ouch. Whoops. Lost the a table. Time. Always good to review your spare replacement form. See how you can avoid future mishaps. Too many spares will rack up the debt, and that's how they get you. Okay. What the? Let's get back to work. We were out. Going to the furnace. Material accepted. Credits transferred. Oh, the pop-in distance is weird. Oh, that's really weird. Okay, whatever. There we go. Uh, okay. It counted. All right, back we go. found an old data drive while you were salvaging. Now, I'm a bit of a tech head and a history nerd, so I love these things. They're uncensored info. Eh, sometimes it's junk, but sometimes, sometimes it's gold. Either way, it's a more genuine view of the colonies than what you see on the garbage news network. I'm sending you a data recovery program. You'll see it on your HAB terminal. Oh, okay. Soaking in solar radiation, Mangles up the data pretty bad, but you can usually pull one or two intact files. Hopefully it'll give you a better sense of the wider world. Warts and all. Have fun. Later, Rook. Hey there, Rook. Whoever got busy and asked me to review your solid records today, I saw that you snagged an old dad drive in that ship. Uh, don't really give a full picture of what's happening across the colony. I just don't want y'all getting a read on what's actually going on off Earth. Standard drives, though, they're uncensored info. The full view. Okay. 
New hab poster available. Cool. Atlas Roustabout. Neat. Oh, okay, that's what a... That's what we... Where is it? Spare regeneration, 150,000. Okay. It's not that bad. Cutter, I want to tell you, I'm mighty impressed by you. Remind me of me when I started. Oh, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Had big dreams of hitting the rails back then. Bought myself one of them classic armadillo rigs. Named the old girl Beulah, after my mother. Told you about my bad revive a while back. Another case of me and technology not getting on, I guess. Bottom line is, this body just ain't fit for flying no more. So, I want to give Beulah to you, Cutter. She ain't in the best of shape, but she'll do good by you. Hell, even a few places around the village that'll fit her out for gate travel. <laughs> if you're so inclined. Anyway, that's it. She'll do more for you than me now. I'm just happy she's going to be with somebody that truly appreciates her. We were out. Hmm. Interesting. To our terminal. Ah. Messages. Exeter Paulson. The Exeter Paulson era. Born well into Earth's post-climate collapse era and raised in the intellectual haven of the Swiss Confederacy, Exeter always had his sights set on space. From a young age, friends and family knew him as a true visionary who showed excellence in every endeavor. In early adulthood, he began looking toward... No. He began looking off-world for venture opportunities, started acquiring small businesses with untapped potential, holding them all under the umbrella of Paulson technology, utilizing the vast financial resources from across his portfolio. Exeter had a gift for unlocking the true potential for every new acquisition. In 2208, with over 200 years of human space travel, leaving a swath of dangerous debris that was now a very real hazard for further human expansion, the International Federation of Earth and Humanity introduced massive subsidies for the clearing and recycling of the detritus. Astute as ever, Exeter came across a, a mismanaged but highly respected recycling operation, Link Salvage. This acquisition quickly awarded Exeter vast subsidies that would enable him to focus on his primary vision, creating a network of rapid mass transit between Earth, Mars, and beyond. Eventually, this vision would manifest as the modern railgate network. Charmed with how Link Salvage used the now extinct Wildcat, with the air of a mythological beast as its moniker, Exeter Paulson rebranded his entire operation as Lynx Corporation in 2210. Data recovery. Data miner. Data miner. Recover now. How do you log up, BMC? Melissa, listen to me. A man comes aboard your ship as a chef. He best be a chef. Problem is, he's not a chef. Did you know I went down the other day and I asked him to rustle me up some samosas? You know how much I love my samosas. And he starts going off about how it's a suboptimal form of nutrition and the protein to caloric ratio is not ideal or whatever. Damn it, I had just spent 12 hours in a hermetically sealed spacesuit making sure 50 tons of platinum don't come crashing into this pathetic excuse of a kitchen, and he got the gall to tell me what I can and cannot eat? Every week, day in, day out, it's the same meal. Melissa. Uh, Captain. Captain Melissa, listen to me. I have run Mars series operations for you for 22 years. 22. The man cooks like an accountant. 
I don't mean to be upset. I just, well, it's hurting morale, okay? Thank you for listening to me. You're a wonderful captain, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I'll see you when you get back to station. Oh, and Captain Melissa, can you bring me some samosas? <laughs> Fun. All right, I gotta repair everything. My gear is quite beaten up. Uh, let's see, equipment. All right, so works is sound recent for longer range. Oh, more oxygen. Yes. We want more oxygen capacity. Uh, oh, my thrusters need the reduced drain. Brake. Make our brake better. Ooh, better durability drain. Probably be good. One off of tether amount. Can't get strength two either. Oh well. Durability drain two. Eight points to have fourteen. something else. I actually need to call it a night though. Let me go over here though. I've got some new posters. Okay. Eighteen million, seven, fifteen million, thirteen, fifteen, eight, sixteen, nine, fifteen. I change these? Oh, I can change these. All right. Okay. Yeah, I actually need to call it there. But yeah, that shall be it for tonight uh next stream might be tomorrow might be the day after i don't know we'll see but yeah once again thanks everybody for watching and uh have a good rest of your 
you know, night or day or whatever. But yeah. Have a good one, everybody.